Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Gaza Rock. I'm your host, Mr. German East Asia. But blah, 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 last time, we did quite well against the uh, Indo Chinese revolt. We got some comments to go through, but we got to talk about resuming Sino German co co cooperation. Berlin's orders are clear, setting aside matters of civilization and race. Germany and China must meet one another with arms outstretched in mutual strength and friendship faced by mutual foe. In truth, Germany needs Chinese soldiers as a bar against the Japanese, and China needs German guns to arm them. Not a bad idea. Invest in the concessions, which would be okay. I will take someone who was trying to justify on us, but lessons from middle Africa? We could use more war support. Um, advisors have arrived, which, is, which wouldn't be bad at all. Actually, I like that quite a bit. Uh, ground attack force. Or factor. Ground attack factor. What does that mean? Ground attack factor. Oh, that's ground attack. Duh. Um, Ride of the Valkyries would be very nice as well. Um, infantry equipment, military factories. Forts would be pretty darn nice. Military factories we could probably use more of. Could we? Well, we're out of anti-air. We could really use some, but... Um, you know what? Let's do this one. Authorized local arms production. Currently, many of our treaties forbid the native authorities and princes from establishing arms production as a condition of our protection. With the reforms that have taken place with the basic structure of the government, we've come to regard these restrictions as an outdated hindrance and are keen on removing them. Um, let's see what else we got around here. Ooh. That's not bad. Another military factory, stuff like that. What is this? Train to assemble newly marine division to add to our forces. Local dockyards. That's not bad. Six dockyards. That's actually pretty darn strong, even though we don't really have the steel for it. Uh, what are we on? We're, oh, we're on free trade. Okay. So, uh, let's keep working on more of our, probably, army guys. Yeah, maybe we'll order this one first. Dispatch worker to the Borneo Mines. Northern Borneo currently holds a vast array of underdeveloped industrial areas, with our chief hurdle being a lack of manpower to exploit these resources. By putting Chinese migrant workers to Borneo, we can begin to develop these nascent industries, which is great. We can request some guns, give them guns, cool. Some comments include, um, let's see. The reason why the Indo-Chinese do not have as many supply problems is because the guerrilla tradition, national spirit, giving them a buff to supply consumption and out-of-supply penalties. Uh, also, they are closer to the supply hubs with the furthest non cyclical unit being three tiles from the capital, which makes sense. And also, Germany is at war, but I'm like, mm, no, no, thanks. Someone else says, good video. Someone else says, oh, crap, I'm excited to see this one, yet I've never seen the GEA so far. Yeah. Uh, another person says, the Civil War can be won fairly quickly by naval invasions. Hey, we got a new ally. Nice. Very, very nice. Actually, was just fine on us. 1940. Oh, that's not good. Um, subs? Sure. Why not? We love subs. Subs and chubs. Someone else says, Germania rules away. Someone else says, I've seen... An AI German Ost Asian campaign, which they took part of Sumatra, as well as the North Dutch New Guinea, but I think that only happens if Insul India won, but they might be wrong. Uh, let's see what else. Someone says, Thanks for playing. I really want someone to play this country. As well as, Well, after Inter China gave you heck, how would you play as them in the future? You can even uh, choose this by sending all of G the German East Asians military to a faraway permanent vacation, like sending them back to Germany or whatever before they become fires. Maybe you can even invade Malay as well as and capture the GEA. And thanks for the vid. Oh, hello. I clicked the war. Yeah, you don't think it's a steal for now. I don't think it's a steal. We honestly probably want to get rid of free trade for now, even though we probably honestly should keep it. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see in the end. Oh, they're going to war with a lot of people. Also, to fight the Japanese, um, we have to fight these guys too. Put first base here. I'm getting a little worried because they're invading a lot of people. It's not good. But hey, the Dutch East Indies are in the Reichs Pact as well, which is not terrible. Not terrible. We could get involved. How's what Europe doing? Holy. Sh Sh Nikes. Germany. Germany. Um. Holy crap. Holy smokes. They're, they're doing qu uh, Well, they're doing really well, as you can see. Uh, of course, then again, it does help. I guess technically that Spain is in the right spectrum. But they just recently joined, didn't they? So, this is not looking good for the Inter International, which is fine. Um. Yeah, I don't know. They're, they're doing... They're doing really well. I mean, I was, I mean, I guess the Eastern Front at the Third International versus the Third International. Hello. I guess Ireland's in there too. And then this, this own separate faction. This is the clique fighting the Japanese faction, which actually I'm totally okay with. If they want to kill each other, you know, let them. So. Uh, I'll probably go. I kind of want to go down to the exports. But kind of fine for now. But uh, maybe we'll wait. Invest in the concessions. Oh. Sh Nikes. Sure. Add more of the peace and be peace. Support back in the concessions. Uh, 35 days. Invest in the concessions. Sing Tao might be the jewel in our crown, but it's not only the concession in our jurisdiction. Developing our business in Weihai Wei. And the Guang Suan will provide long term benefits to our overlordship in the region. Sounds good to me. 
and maybe the anti invasion plan. By conducting war games, creating a reserve of concrete and steel, and training the civilian population in evacuation methods, we can ensure that any invasion scenario is met with full force. Um, and then uh, expand our local dockyards. While we'd never be able to build a battleship or carrier with our local resources, destroyers and cruisers are not impossible. We should expand the local dockyard facilities to see us become a reality. And everyone, we have the fall of Minsk, a dark day for the belittlesome people. I've done a couple more focuses, such as local fa arms foundries. The current arms manufacturers within our area of jurisdiction are sorely lacking, to say the least. We should invest in further development, new designs, facilities, the last in our reliance on Berlin's uh, scraps. And then Siamese board fortifications. While the Kingdom of Siam did assist the German Empire during the Valkyrie, they were not rewarded with their full territorial claims on which we are currently set. We should fortify the board just in case they decide that weapons speak louder than our words. Last one from Middle Africa. Middle Africa is our sister uh, project of sorts and has been dealing with NATO discontent since its inception. We're sure to bring benefit in hiring Middle African advisors. And let's go with. The uh, Ostasian Merchant Fleet, or Ostasian. One of the biggest benefits to the Ostasian colonies, and one of the reasons the Fatherland maintains them, is the sheer volume of trade it gives us control over. By pressing some of the extensive merchant fleet into service to carry war materials, we can gain a temporary boost for carrying capacity. And it looks like they're doing okay. Wow, Austrians are doing quite well, I guess. Um, This does not look good for them, but at the same time, we're still at peace. Like, I've just been building ourselves up. I've been building a lot of roads, building a lot of factories and stuff like that. We have 100 factories in total, which is actually pretty good. We're building more supply bases. Um, I'm planning on invading um, the Australian, Australian Union, just because, why not? Our allies are actually doing relatively okay down here, so... I'm feeling like it should be okay. We have some logistic companies. We're trying to make these divisions bigger. So... And we're out of our... Oh, petrol guy is gone. We're out of artillery. We got a couple guns, which is pretty nice at this point. We got some, quite a few light tanks. I'm thinking about doing some light tank recon. Um, I'm going to take half you guys away. Mm. Why don't you guys be like stationed here? Because by the time um, he's done moving that direction, we will want to navally invade. So, uh, get out there too, just in case. And Josiah, so Prince Josiah Zaval, that con Pervon, you don't have a scar over your face yet. Cool. Uh, better fuel. We will need that better because we are training our ships right now. Ooh. Look at that. Acquire Middle African Advisors. Middle Africa is our sister project source, which we both defend the Khazra from its outside enemies and, and subordinate subjects, so it's only reasonable for us to strengthen our ties. The Grand Admiral has decided to hire Middle African Advisors in hopes that they will benefit our fighting forces and strengthen our counterinsurgency efforts. I wonder if their cannibals are worse than ours. We do have, we do have four carriers, which is pretty nice. I mean, they're really level one, but whatever. Um, yeah. Virgin Marine. Thank you. That's not bad, yeah. Underwater, uh, underwater fleet. The U-boats should take a prominent role in the fleet. The better, uh, they better, they are better to counter Japanese surface-based power. By pushing for further development of sub-vessels, we can extend our advantage over the vulnerable shipping lanes. Also, since we're sending guys down here, anyways, um, we can't really build this too much. Doesn't won't give us that much benefit, in all honesty. So, uh, oh, air base, and then we'll join the war as well. And we've been building ourselves up very nicely, like road-wise, we're doing very well. Um, radar, we could probably honestly use more. Of course, we're going to run out of things to build here anyway, so... Eventually, once we do run out of things to build, eh, we should be fine. There we go. Port-wise. Level 1 forts? Sure, why not? And we have plenty of political power as well. I did go from free trade to export focus, but I'm not really super concerned about it right now. Alright, so you... will do this. We need to do this, like this, like this. Well, we're ready there anyways. Um, yeah, we can do that. Why not? Three and three and three. We go two and two. Um, go half. Over here. Good luck. Mm, not bad. Not bad. Make sure we got plans for everything before we do anything else. Oh, I had him back here, huh? Jeez. Just land for now. You guys should be fully done. Trying to get finish off our tops off in terms of fuel. And these guys are doing relatively okay without us doing any of the war. How many divisions do they even have? 
Colorado. Can't tell. How's Germany doing? Oh, cause of villain the second did pass away, which is unfortunate. 190. Oh, that's not looking good, how is it? Uh, oh, they got plenty of manpower. Holy crap. Yeah, Germany's very strong right now. Holy smokes. You know what? I'm thank God it happened this campaign. This is disgust what the oh my goodness. This is a thick Reichspact. This is a really no wonder we were winning. Like this is a really flipping thick Reichspact. We go all the way down to Suez Africa and connect all the way, well, except for the Suez Canal. Um, basically into Central Asia. Nice. New shipbuilding methods. Shipbuilding has moved on in the years since the 1934 plan. Not by now. Embracing the latest methods of steel milling, steel hull construction, and electronics, we can build uh, some more modern ships much faster. Admiral von Mucke, Mucke and a delegation welcomed the Middle Africans as um, they disembarked from their boat in Singapore. They appeared to be men the Admiralty were looking for with a rough and grizzled appearance and expiring confidence. They spoke a few words and before being escorted to the local accommodations, to the amusement of the locals, as the appearance of several Ascari have caused quite a stir. My God, take a bull. Pretty cool. And here, you guys are good. Um, you're almost good. Oh, we have, oh, oh crap, duh, we have Marines. Why, why are we naval invading without Marines? Because I forgot about the Marines. That's why. Wait till it gets green, and then we'll join the war. Mm, overwhelming firepower might not be bad. Smoke and fire. Oh, preserve the German order. Ooh, with blood and iron, we shall prevail. That's actually really good. Cool. Um, I kind of we kind of have to go that way, but I want to finish the induction first before we keep going on. So, all right, well, let's save and try it out because why not? There's some coffee here too. Anyone else we border with the Third International with? At the very least, if we could get these guys as a puppet or something, I think that'd be really cool. Uh, yeah, Third International. Uh, well, I guess we were kicked out of Ireland. This is a disgusting Iceland. No wonder they capitulated. Uh, America is currently dying to Mexico and America, so pretty normal. Did our normal? Oh, Carl. Well, and now we're at war. Also, we want to double check to make sure our planes are okay. There we go. Naval bombs. There we go. Naval bombers. Always good to have. And this area too, just in case. We need a way more fuel. Actually, we need to build some refineries. How do we not build all, all this infrastructure yet? God. We don't need the railroads, we just need more fuel. Alright, so these guys are trapped down here, which is fine with us. Better radar, it's good. Some more research speed, thank you. Hey, look at that nice fuel. Hopefully, we do well. Or maybe not. Or maybe we will. Or maybe we won't. Or maybe we will. And say... Die. And you're gonna force the attack too. Especially within this direction as well. Entente, I don't think we're gonna fight each other, so that'll be good. Oh, look at that. Convoys, yay! Nice. Good job, guys. Look all the way around. Go, have fun. You guys. Where are, what are you guys up to? Hmm. There you go. Go have fun. Yep, whatever. Not bad so far. These guys are struggling. I guess technically that is our territory as well, but whatever. Yeah, right in here too. Because that's the only convoy that they have, and that should, you honestly should be able to do that one very well. How many ships does this enemy have? Also, yes. Oh, total mobilization wouldn't be bad. Hmm, we could use more steel though. <clears throat> Not bad. 32. Oh, 48 ships. Quite a few. Quite a few. After this, uh, we could do that one. Oh, counterinsurgency lessons. Middle African colonial ports of extensive experience. 
Hard and bloodily won in defeating local rebels and insurgents, with a more permanent military attaché to be established, as well for new doctrines and tactics to be employed. Those as result in a higher failure rate in recruitment, the results speak for themselves. Nice. Uh oh Fall of Moscow. Oh boy. Convoys have been sunk, which is good. More convoys, yes. Ooh, we lost. Oh, that's not good. Five is fine on this side. Keep going through this way, guys. Fall of Mexico City. At least we're doing our part. Fall oh, the Fall of London. Wow, that is a straight line. Holy crap, that's like the AA line. Whoa. Okay, Italy. Well, I guess London is now Italian. <clears throat> oh. Oh, keep losing subs. It's not good. <coughs> uh, becoming a sea wolf. You got what on you? Not much. Makes sense, but still. Hey, destroy them, division, son. Soft attack and organization, yes, please. Norway, that's fine. Just in case as well, we'll put like an occasional supply base here, so the supply isn't like god awful. Convoy's nice, nice. Hopefully these, these carriers find some find enemies and destroy them. Um, I don't mind building up some of this here, especially if we can keep them. Hey, more convoys, yes please. We're doing our part for the nation. Um, we're gonna need, always need more steel. I feel like that's like the one thing we're always lacking here. Twelve divisions of twelve, that's not bad. Um, mm -hmm. Where's the supply point? Not really many around here, are there? <coughs> but how many men have we lost? The Germans huh. They lost a lot of guys. The third international's about to die. We've got all fifty four thousand, that's not bad. Um uh, I guess Italy did unite, huh? Well, that helps us out, Transmere. Where are we? Usually we're the German Empire, but, uh... Yeah. Okay, I guess this will just be convoys we were thinking. Which is fine with me, I like that a lot. Oh, shh! We won! Okay, then. Well, you know what, we'll do the peace conference together, why not? Alright, Germany, you top dog. And then, I kind of want to give like half of the unit burn to Italy, but, what are we going to do? Italy. You know, this will make it easy, just give everything to Germany. Do they deserve it? Probably not, but whatever. Liberia. The French Republic. I don't think they deserve them, but you know what? We've killed off enough of them, so okay. I'm okay with this. Good job, guys. We did great. Oh, look at that. We got that too. Oh, and the game's lagging because um, Jimmy's probably releasing France. Also known as the French. Well then. Not bad. Uh, 
Oh, we're still at war with... Oh, the Russian peoples. Eh, no one cares. Well then. Ah. France. Michael Dubail. Anthony Ludovici. Wow, they are very politically divided. Well then. Not bad. We can't get into the puppet. Oh, destruction is yours. Singapore Causeway. Yeah, we're not going to do that one. I think we could request manpower as well, but we'll be okay without that. Nice. Yeah, it's almost done. You might as well finish it. Pretty good. Better than I thought. So I guess at this point, <clears throat> East Rikistana. Well, supplies got really sucked through through Russia. I mean, they're going to win eventually. So there's that. Eventually, we will probably try to take out uh, it? Japan too. So we might as well. Over the Flusish Kites uh, Brand Bomb. North African terrain is filled with thick vegetation and jungles. Because of this, they have introduced a new weapon, the Flusish Kites Brand Bomb. A liquid fire bomb to bomb the insurgents in the dense foliage of Africa. It's used of white phosphorus, it's truly breathtaking. Though its effect on the enemy has been seen as quite distasteful by the more traditional members of the Admiralty. And naval aviation ambition. Whatever Berlin's thoughts on carriers may be, even they will not deny the plans of some utility in naval context. Therefore, we will have been authorized to develop land-based aircraft specialized for attacking ship ports and further refine the Sea Battalion. With the unique situation on the globe, we naturally focus more on Marines than any other nearby nations, with the Sea Battalion in particular being known for their hard and fast and amphibious assaults. We should provide further training to ensure that they are at the cutting edge. Japanese ultimatum. For months already, the Japanese have expressed their aggressive ambitions towards our colonial lands as part of the expansion's policies today. The Japanese ambassador has presented us an old man. They demand that we surrender all of our territory in Southeast Asia and the Pacific, or else we will face full might of the Imperial Japanese military. Nah, we're good. At this point, I mean, Russia's dead. It's 42. It's almost 43. Uh, I think we'll do okay. And we're not perfect or anything, but I think we'll do okay. You never know. Oh. trans is just fighting against Siberia, huh? Oh, and there you go. Excuse me, Japanese. Japanese. Well, we're at war with them now. So, I must go in. You guys are just kind of there hanging out. Um, we'll see what happens. Let's see. Do we have any other planes around here? Fighters. Attack bombers. Uh, you might as go in the water. Use more airspace around here, too. Um, yeah, I could use more stuff in space. Eastern Seas War, Singapore will never fall. We'll see. Hopefully they won't. Germany's been called in as well, of course. So we'll see what happens. Oh, what do you guys at? Oh, you guys right there, huh? There we go. Well, hopefully we'll do okay. I mean, I think we will. The Japanese... Oh. You're going about this. Please go right ahead. We're doing jungle warfare. We did expand the Singapore detachment. Well, our Marines are fierce and hardy. They're limited in number. We should seek to expand the size of Marine forces. Jungle warfare. Harsh jungles of Indochina long have been a graveyard of empires, for and foe alike. We must train all of our troops to better operate in such hostile conditions. Absolute fear to defense. <clears throat> the doctrine of Gazamschutzfahrer is an extreme elaboration on our forces of defending the colonies from invasion. It calls to establish multiple different fail states and backup plans to prepare for every possible scenario of invasion and landing. And to relentlessly drill the troops so that they're prepared for every single one. Yeah, pretty much. Alright, so what are we missing? Artie? Pretty normal. Naval stuff? Holy crap. We must have just done a lot of naval stuff. Of course, when the German fleet arrives here too, the bigger... Holy crap. Oh, Alright. Well, there goes our fleet. Not bad. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Hopefully he's learning a lot. Go and repair if you need to. Lost a plane, which is totally fine with me. Get to lose planes, yeah, keep going this way. Um, sure guys. Uh, we don't have that many convoys, but sure, we'll take whatever we got. Um I'll put maybe. Uh well that's not good. 
What else we got here? Some of that's nice. Some of this would be nice. More sort of efficiency is very good as well. Yeah, Cyan was not ready. Because they were fighting the Yudan clique the entire time, so. <clears throat> of course, we're fighting the Philippines, but, you know, whatever. Well, Bangkok. Very nice. What are the AIs going to do, ultimately, in terms of helping us out, helping everyone else out? Uh, let's go to the bottom of this. Which is way more arty. Ooh, that sucks. And you guys are just kind of hanging out here. Called in France, which is fine. Ooh. Holy crap, is that the German fleet? Or is it... We shot down... They shot down 95 planes. What the heck? 22 destroyers were lost. The heck, bro? Yeah, lose all those convoys, you piece of garbage. Uh, the war itself, 13,000 from us. Oh, we're considered a major power. Nice. Um, magnetic detonator, not bad. Pretty good. 43, of course. Get some of that, too. Yeah, double up on both these. Yeah, that'd be nice. <clears throat> Force it. Good. A division is going to go bye bye. Well, now there's seven. And there goes the Skinos I am. Very nice. Not bad at all. Uh, right here. Why don't you guys do this too? For some reason this stopped working for us. Let the time go on for now. Bangkok as well. Good. And good. Alright, so then we have you guys over here. Kinda hanging out. Not good. Got some non aggression pack. Not good either. Getting jungle warfare done though is quite good. South China Sea, eh? Any upgrades yet? No. Alright. Absolute sphere defense. Can't quite do this one, so after that one, Singapore Flying Corps. Our current aerial forces are completely comprised of our naval aviation detachment. We should seek to find the train additional supplies for our land based air force. Wow, there's a lot of convoys around here, aren't there? Ah, we lost some of the guys up here. But if you keep raiding them, the Chinese do well against these guys, that'd be good. Because have a lot of convoys. In the meantime, we should probably create an agency as well. Singapore, uh, Sabah would be important as well. We could try to invade these guys, but we need bigger air, ba air bases around here too. Keep working on stuff for now. Hmm. Oh, they're trying to go out. Not bad. Let's become a seawolf. That's all I want this group to become. Ace by promoters is fine. 49% of the way there. They're just going to keep learning. Like, <clears throat> we're going to keep going. Raiding. Navally invading. All that good stuff. Convoys, yes. 50%. So, yeah. He's going to be doing that a whole bunch. After that, of course, Singapore Flying Corps, King Dao Air Bases. King Dao, shared with AOG, is a perfect position from which to project our aerial might across the entire region. In theory, we're able to strike Beijing, Manchuria, and even Japan all from one base. We should now seek to expand it to facilitate these options. <clears throat> Aviation Advisors. Our pilots must be trained in the basic or best conditions. Oh, look at that. Um, to suit our needs. So we shall stage aerial warfare games over at Qing Dao to show our rebels that we mean business. Falk Wolf, East Asian sub Subsidiary. Falk Wolf has expressed interest in opening an East Asian subsidiary to take advantage of our local labor and resources. We should fully support them in this adventure. <coughs> East Asian Falschim Jäger. Granat von Milke has long admired the Falschim Jäger and their strong discipline. We recently has made contact with the Wolf Dietrich Witzel, who was offered to train and command an elite division here in the East on an offer we cannot refuse, and then request flight to fighters from Berlin. While we are now producing some lanes planes locally, we still require more than we can currently produce. We shall request a quartet of fighters from Berlin to fit the, fill the gap in the meantime. Okay, everyone. So, I, I know this wasn't going to last like a super long video, but, um... Oh, we're doing alright. Holy crap, hold on. So we got really... Oh, that's not very good. And then we got even more losses. Ooh, the Japanese did lose a battleship, two cruisers, and six escort cruisers. Nice. But, uh... Oh. Oh! 
But the Germans, um, well, they've already invaded Japan. So, yeah, I guess, yeah, once the Germans are done with the Third International and the Russians, uh, oh, I guess Bulgaria's still fighting here as well, but who cares? Um, yeah, not bad. They're really just stomping through Japan. Like, there's literally no, no Japanese soldiers on the home islands of Japan. Well, we just finished Absolute Defense, which we barely honestly started working towards, so. Uh, let's put the Flying Corps, get some, some of that. Get some of this as well, that'd be good. Yeah. A bit crazy, if you ask me. Since we just, we haven't really done too much in this campaign. Uh, the Germans did invade here, too. The Ottomans are really being very, 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 very aggressive, which is fine with me, but still. Um, other than that, we're doing all right. We've lost 18,000. Well, split 50-50. Uh, we've killed off 147,000 of them. We've actually killed more of the Japanese soldiers than German, the German Empire proper. <clears throat> Even though they're taking over all the land up here, which is, you know, whatever. Um, here, do that, too, because you can. Of course, it does help that they're bogged down in uh, China, but, you know, that always helps. As long as China's getting beaten up and we're not getting beaten up, that's what I care about the most. Uh, oh, wow. Holy crap. We've lost a lot of subs, haven't we? Still not quite a sea wolf, you are you? Felix. But oh well, I guess. There's not that much we can do about that for now. <coughs> yeah, it's going to be a very German-dominated century. Wow, seven more were sunk. Jesus. Yeah. Oh, goodbye, Japanese division. Goodbye. Well, well this war is about to be over, too. And we'll take uh, Siam. I want Siam itself. I think they would make a nice little addition for us. I love having the Germans East Asia. Oh, wow. Holy crap. Look at all that stuff. Carriers and battleships. Cruisers, destroyers, convoys. Con the Philippines are gone. Oh, okay. You know what? Maybe we'll take the Philippines. Just because that makes more sense for, like, East Asia. Like, German East Asia. So. Uh, would you guys like to continue going? I don't want to send my entire army over there. But I will if I have to. Our army itself is not bad. We might lose all these guys, but whatever. Uh, Artillery-wise, we would run out, but that's okay. We do have anti-air on our guys, too, so it's pretty decent. Convoys. Convoys. Flying Singapore Brigade Group. Yes. Singapore. Singapore, yes. Qingdao bases, like we read before we fade in, fade out. Ooh. And Valkyries of the battlefield. <coughs> Due to the poor infrastructure and rough terrain in which our troops operate, we frequently have difficulty extracting wounded men, leading to deaths from wounds that would otherwise be treatable. The use of native stretcher bears have been a good godsend. Who knows the lay of the land? They have been dubbed Valkyries by the soldiers, as they left those who, have live and, who will live and triage those who will die. Cool. Happy 43, everybody. Just destroying everything in the in the water for that, that belongs to the Empire of Japan. Oh, almost a sea wolf. Almost a sea wolf. Come on. You can do it. Another division. Nice. Oh, we're almost on the front lines too. Beautiful. Lost awesome convoy. That's fine. Get him way back. There we go. Now you're Sea Wolf. Now you should do some very good damage. Even more damage than normal. Navigation seas are gone. Uh, 71 ships left. Which is more than I thought they would have had. Hirohito. Oh, what about him? Half a million manpower, 29 convoys in total. No supply fulfillment, which is great to see. Soldiers are on the line, let's go. Nice, I lost three subs too. See, we're working now. So this way, uh, we can get some territory in the end of this. We'll take legation cities, please. Uh, we can pierce them. Of course, they're only 37% strength, so you really should be able to pierce them. And the Turks have taken out Tokyo. Good old Turkish Tokyo. Nice. 
absolutely beautiful. <laughs> ah, beautiful. The Qing have done the most. Then look at uh, Southeast Provinces. We've got 200,000. We've lost 24,000. We're doing very well. As we should. We had a town. Doesn't really matter to me. El Mori. Watch out, Transmir. Yeah, that's probably a mistake at this point. Especially if we're, if we're literally taking out Japan. Not sure if I'd say that's the best idea. So we can come into help you out. <coughs> oh, thanks, Poland. We know we could count on you. Uh, no, no, maybe no. It wasn't us. Two hundred thousand. No. No, that's actually the German Empire now. Okay, so we haven't called, called that many. The German Empire is actually caught up, so. Ah. Very nice. <laughs> More arty? Yes, please. Not bad. Wow, they're... Okay. No commander. Oh, they got... Oh, really? That's pretty good. Not bad, not bad. Can't quite win there, right? Don't you see boys? Fritz Byerlin is doing quite well. We're going through a lot more focuses than I thought we actually would. Um, we got quite a bit of manpower. Of course, we're already on a sense of conscription, but what else is new? That's going to be good. Collapse of the Japanese Empire. Cool. I'll take the Philippines. We'll take Siam, too. And because we're the Germany's Indies, you can do that. You can have this, too. Ooh. With time and there you go. Feng Chong government. I guess I just give it to the Qing, right? There you go. Cool. Well then, I have intelligence. We organize Northern Malaya. Oh, the Imperial Colonial Office. Now they've gained control over the Northern Malaya Sultanates. Our recreation of the unfettered Malay states shall serve as a temporary legal and administrative homework, or framework, I should say, to integrate the local civil services under each individual sultan into a single unit. Nice. Reorganize the Laotian territories. Now that we've finally gained full control over the Laos, we need to expand our civil services to cover the newly uh, annexed territories on the other side of the Mekong River. Nice. And Cambodian territories. Now that we've managed to gain control of the Cambodia, we may be able to finally split stung Trang areas of the Kokin China administration to recreate the Kingdom of Cambodia Protectorate. That would give us greater control over the newly annexed territories rather than just simply put them under Saigon's. Very cool. Wow, we actually get them as cores. That's actually really awesome. I love that. And of course, East Asia. So I think we did. Oh, crap. We export so much. Why do we export so much? We'll go there. Does that help? Ah! That helped quite a bit. But yeah, I think that's going to be it for us here today. Um, we are going about live cruisers, please, as well as this one and this one. We don't really need to do that stuff. Unfortunately, we never got to roll the Pacific, which would have been great to get another research slot, but you know. Oh, well, I think we've done really, really well. Um, other than that, yeah, if you want to do that too, as well as this one too, please go ahead. But you know, that's pretty nice. I love how big we made ourselves get. I think this is great. I think this was really a lot better of a campaign than I thought it would be, but I guess technically we're still at war with these guys, but I don't really care. But if you enjoyed the video and campaign, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Oh, doing Age of Boons right there.
Thanks for watching. Have a great, 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 great rest of your day.